हेलो माई सेल्फ सुनील कलशेट्टी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द डिप्लीशन टाइप मॉस्फेट लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स कैन डिस्क्राइब कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्किंग एंड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डिप्लीशन टाइप मॉस्फेट अप टिल नाउ वी स्टडीड द बीजेटी बायपोलर जंक्शन ट्रांजिस्टर बीजेटीज आर द करंट कंट्रोल डिवाइस फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स आर द अनदर टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजिस्टर्स फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर्स आर अवेलेबल इन टू टाइप्स जंक्शन फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर जे इफेक्ट एंड मेटल ऑक्साइड सेमी कंडक्टर फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर मॉसफेट इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ आईज इफेक्ट इन्सुलेटेड गेट फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर It is the voltage controlled device. Output power is controlled by the input gate voltage. That's why name is the voltage control device. These are the unipolar device. Here, current conduction takes place because of majority charge carriers, either electrons or holes. That's why MOSFETs are called as a unipolar device. Operating frequency above hundred kilohertz. Switching time fifty to hundred nanosecond. Switching speed faster than BZT, available for high voltage and high current rating. No possibility of second breakdown because MOSFETs are positive temperature coefficient. As the temperature increases, resistance increases and current decreases, so there is the no possibility of second breakdown. But in the BZT, there is the possibility of second breakdown because BZTs are the NTC. high input impedance other trade names for this device hexfet international rectifiers cmos manufactured by siemens timos manufactured by motorola mosfets are available in two types depletion type mosfet and enhancement type mosfet further depletion type mosfets are divided in two types n channel d mosfet and p channel d mosfet and enhancement type mosfet n channel e mosfet and p channel e mosfet these are the schematic symbols of the mosfets source gate drain these are the three terminal and fourth one subset the arrow represents the direction of majority charge carriers from source to drain whereas in p channel mosfet the arrow is outward the direction of majority charge carries from drain to source this is the constructional diagram of n channel d mosfet it is the lightly doped p type semiconductor material in which two heavily doped n regions are diffused and that two heavily doped n regions are represented as a source and drain in between two heavily doped n regions there is a connectivity and that connectivity is made up of by the n type material that's why name is the n channel depletion type mosfet and the third terminal gate gate is isolated from the channel in between gate and channel there is the thin layer of si02 layer that's why input impedance is high why the name is mosfet metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor m metal source gate and drain are connected through the metallic contact to the body o4 oxide layer the gate is isolated from the channel in between gate and channel there is the thin layer of si02 layer and by varying the gate potential the conductivity of the channel changes and as the conductivity changes according to that the electric field is developed across the channel and that developed electric field controls the output power that's why name is the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor it is the basic structure of p channel d type mosfet the construction is like this it is the lightly doped n type semiconductor material in which two heavily doped p regions are diffused 
and that two heavily doped P regions are represented as a drain and source. In between two P region, there is the connectivity, and that connectivity is made up of by using the P type material. That's why name is the P channel D type MOSFET. Why input impedance of MOSFET is very high? In the MOSFET, gate is isolated from the channel. In between gate and channel, there is the thin layer of oxide layer. There is no direct electrical connection in between the gate and channel. That's why input impedance is very high. Generally, the input impedance is in the range of 1 mega ohm. Working of N channel D type MOSFET. Operation with VGS is equal to 0. In this mode, VGS is equal to 0 volt and ID is the maximum current IDSS. Short the gate to the source and apply the finite voltage in between the drain and source. So, because of 0 volt VGS, the electrons are starts flowing from the source to drain. So, effect of this, the current starts flowing from the drain to source. In this mode, current is maximum. Operation with negative VGS. In this mode, VGS is negative, that is, VGS is less than 0 and ID is less than maximum current. Because of negative gate potential, the electrons from the channel repelled away from the oxide layer. And whenever the electrons are repelled, they leave behind the positive immobile ion effect of this depletion layer is created below the oxide layer. At the same time, the holes from the P region try to attract towards the gate potential, but they cannot reach up to the gate. They recombine with electrons. So, effect of this, the number of electrons are reduces and the rate of change of current is reduces and the current is reduces. At the specific value of VDS, the width of channel becomes minimum and through which high density charge carriers flows through the device. The voltage at that point is called as a pinch of voltage. And after that, the MOSFET enters in the pinch of region or saturation region. Effect of positive get to source voltage. In this mode, VGS is greater than 0 and ID is greater than maximum current. If VGS is positive, increases the number of free electrons passing through the channel. The greater the gate voltage, greater is the number of free electrons passing through the channel. Thus, the level of free electrons has been enhanced, that is, enhance the conductivity of the channel and operating mode is called as a enhancement mode. When VGS is positive, the MOSFET operates in the enhancement mode. Drain characteristics of N channel D MOSFET. Here, MOSFET operates in three region cutoff region, ohmic region, and saturation region. In the cutoff region, VGS is sufficiently negative, so effect of this, the current remains zero and a MOSFET remains in the off state. If you want to use the MOSFET as an open switch, it must operate in the cutoff region, ohmic region. In this region, if there is small change in the VDS, there is a large change in drain current. The MOSFET offers the constant resistance region and it obeys the Ohm's law. That's why name is the ohmic region. If you want to use the MOSFET as a closed switch, it must operate in the ohmic region. And once the input crosses the pinch of voltage, the MOSFET operates in the pinch of region or saturation region. In this region, the current remains constant. If you want to use the MOSFET for the amplification purpose, it must operate in the saturation region. These are the different operating regions of the MOSFET. Transfer characteristics of N channel D MOSFET. When it is the relation between the VGS and drain current. 
when vgs is zero the drain current is maximum as the vgs increases positively the mosfet operates in the enhancement mode and the current crosses the maximum value and when vgs is negative the width of conducting channel is reduces so effect of this the drain current is reduces the formula used to plot the transfer curve is id is equal to idss into bracket 1 minus vgs upon vp bracket square this formula is used to plot the transfer curve why d mosfet is called as a normally on device when vgs is zero the output current is maximum that's why the d mosfet is called as a normally on device why n channel mosfets are popular than p channel in the n channel mosfet majority charge carriers are electrons whereas in the p channel majority charge carriers are holes the mobility of electron is 1300 cm square per volt second whereas mobility of hole is 500 cm square per volt second in the n channel mosfet the current is twice than p channel and the packing density of n channel mosfet is very high so the n channel mosfets are more comp compact that's why practically n channel mosfets are more popular and practically these are used in the commercial application these are references thank you